this being the Olivier Awards and uh, the statue is well, obviously in his honour. So you had this uh, extraordinary long-term relationship. I thought he was so wonderful talking about we're here for the audience. We're not here to indulge ourselves. He did all sorts of exciting things yeah. and we did them together. And then of course that led to founding the Young Vic. The whole idea was to get in that young audience, teenage and early 20s, to create a theatre where they'll go mm. without any prodding. We should just mention the Edinburgh Festival, which you ran. Oh, oh, the editor of Scotsman became a pal, and he rang me up in New York and said, look, it's got to change course, the festival, and you've got to come down over and tell them. So told the board what they, I thought they should do, and we expanded the theatre side enormously. What inspires you? My mother used to take me to the theatre a lot. I didn't realise, till she was very old, that she'd auditioned and her mother didn't allow her to do it. So deep in my mother's heart was a, a yearning for the theatre. And with, that, yeah. because I couldn't understand where I got yeah. this funny yeah. feeling about the theatre yeah. from. So what would you say to young people who are contemplating a life in the theatre? I'd say it's the most lucky life you can have. You're doing something which you adore doing and you adore pleasing the audience. Frank, thank you so much. Thank you.